All right, guys, so right now I'm heading over to Rocky Raccoon. I'm going to pick up Tony Morales. You guys remember him from the 100 miler at Rocky Raccoon and also the uh, 100K. So he did both of those races, and I'm going to pick him up. He actually decided to sign up for the race last minute because of the cold weather. There's a bunch of openings. So, uh, you know, I probably could have done it too, but I wanted to go out there and just film. So I'm going to take you on a little bit behind the scenes of filming a ultra marathon so that's what i'm going to try to do in this video i'm going to try to make three separate videos maybe four i wanted to make a kimberly video uh, she's the third place uh, 100k finisher two years ago and she's doing it again probably do one for tony as well and then i'll make a rocky raccoon video standalone video so uh, that's my plan and uh yeah this is gonna be the uh, pickup of tony and then the drive over there and everything else that's going to go on this whole weekend. So uh, enjoy the video. Let's go. I don't want to stay here no. Ain't going to keep it low now. There's Tony just picking him up from his house. We got a loaded up back seat. Everything is loaded up in here. Pretty full. Tony brought a lot of stuff. We're using his tent. So I brought a little catalytic heater. Cause it's gonna be cold this weekend. It's good. Right now it's like 30, 35 degrees, 39 degrees. So, it's gonna be cold this weekend. And then uh, it's about a two hour drive over there. There's Tony. <laughs> All right, we made it here to the Rocky Raccoon or to the Huntsville State Park. Now we're just gonna pick up some firewood because it's freaking cold. I bought some from home, but we're gonna buy some more just in case. We don't ever need a plan. We'll be alright, just you and I. Singing from the top of a lungs. Dancing by the lakeside. Trying to do it while we're young. In a moment, it will all be gone. You. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. All right, let's go get to our campsite. Tony's putting up the wood. Well, Tony's putting up the wheelbarrow. And I'm gonna go over there. All right, made it here to our campsite. Tony's over here doing some work. I'm over here not doing anything but recording. But found a place right there. Looks like a nice little flat area. And that's where we're gonna camp tonight. Gonna get to like 30, 30 degrees tonight, something like that. Pretty cool. Alright, we got the fire going over here. I got my third jacket on. <laughs> it's freaking cold. Let's check out the tent. Welcome to Tent a la Tony and Jeremy. We have a little heater over here. Don't know if it'll kill us or not. But I guess we'll find out tomorrow. If we wake up. Right now I'm going to set up my bed. Done. Got us our dinner. There's Tony, the chef. HGB. <laughs> Warm them up in the fire. Links and a tortilla. So we're just heading over to pack a pickup right now to pick up Tony and Kimberly's stuff. There's Tony. Gotta have, gotta be masked up, you know. Better finish it. Yeah, can't wear it now. So right now it's 7 o'clock, it's about uh, 30, 32 degrees outside, feels like 24 apparently, but uh, we're just sitting here by the fire, relaxing before tomorrow. Tony is uh, looking up the course over here. He's making sure he knows which way to go so he doesn't get turned around, but uh, yeah, that's about it for today. He 
these little hand warmers. These little hand warmers are what is going to save my life today. It's so cold. The hand warmer dance. All right, about to head over to the start line over here. Just waiting on Tony. He's going to come in a little bit. There goes all my lights, but uh, he's coming over here. Really, I could do this if I needed to. I think that would be a good idea right here. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Good job. Yeah, Kimberly left at 6:32, and this as soon as it's seven o'clock, I'm gonna go put my bag out there, and then uh, we'll mosey on to the to get my timing chip. And I'll start. Alright, everybody has gotten off. Kimberly and Tony, they have both gone off. So I'm gonna go and try to search for them. The course is so confusing. It's a lot different than it was last year. So we'll see if I can find everybody. Good work. Morning. I'm at mile 22.3. Nice, how you feeling? The first lap was like 9.75, so it's pretty close. <laughs> so I just caught Kimberly finally. She's looking good. She said she's tired, but uh, I think she said she's on mile 23. So almost halfway there for her. I don't know if I'll find Tony. This place is so different than it used to be. Probably should have biked over here instead of walked, because I walked from here to Damnation, which used to be over here, but now it's way over here, so I probably got a mile walk this way before I hit that mission again. So uh, here we go. I broke my damn camera. Yeah, I dropped it. it sucks. So I'm back here at the. Um, Start line, went for Whittier Kimberly to finish her her loop. I ended up breaking my freaking camera. So my camera's broken. I'm hungry. I've done about 10 miles, bike and running. So getting some food in me and then I'm gonna go try to find them again. But I broke my camera, so the rest of the video is gonna be on the 360 camera and my uh, Osmo pocket. Maybe my cell phone, that sucks. Find you again. I'll probably follow you a little bit. So I was cooking some sausages. Probably burnt now, but Kimberly just passed. And I had to go run and meet her up. So that's why I'm out of breath. But yeah, like I said, I uh, broke my camera, my other one. So this is the Osmo Pocket. The GoPro Hero 8, it will not turn on in uh, cold temperatures. So it's like 32 degrees and it won't turn on. So I am stuck with the Osmo Pocket and the 360 and my phone camera if I need to. But those two should be good enough. Just won't be as cinematic as I wanted it to be and I don't know how much of this race I can actually put out there because it's really hard to get people on this course they changed it so much so it's just difficult for me but uh yeah I'm gonna see how my hot dog is doing my sausage probably burnt to a crisp now all right so here is my Sausage, a little burnt, a little ashy. A little crispy. Let's just take off some of that crisp. 
There you go. That is a good sausage. <laughs> See, enough uh, mustard, you can't even tell. It's all burnt. That was disgusting. I'm not cooking another one. Hopefully nobody else shows up. That was disgusting. All right, guys, that second sausage was much better than the first one. First one tasted like trash. So uh, don't eat out of the ashes. But now that I have a little more energy in me, a little more liveliness in me, I'm going to go search for Kimberly or Tony. We'll see which one I find first. Nobody here. It's a nice little bridge though, that's why I stopped. So I'm on the hunt for Tony and Kimberly. Tony's slowing down, I'm assuming, and Kimberly, she's also slowing down, but she's still going pretty fast. So it depends on who we find first. <sighs> I'm tired. This is uh this is tiring trying to search for everybody. <laughs> I was I thought I was like, who am I gonna find first? Kimberly or Tony? <laughs> over here can't find too many people pretty worn out I'm pretty worn out I think I'm going to probably just get them at the end because pretty worn out rode about 20 or I rode and ran about 20 plus miles so far uh, yeah hard to find people every time I make a video I'm always like, did I get enough footage? Or I'm always worried that it's not gonna be any good, but we'll have to edit it and see just how how I make it, what I do with it, what I do with the footage. That's what's gonna make the magic. So who knows what this will turn out to be, but I don't know. For me right now, not, not so good. I didn't get enough footage of Kimberly, barely any of Tony. So, we'll see what I make. Good job! Kimberly? Good Tony! She beat you! <laughs> 